Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. The Away Day Show is back in another Thursday. And just for the context, this was <laughs> bound not to happen literally yeah. for 30, 20 minutes earlier. Yeah, I'm coming home from work, you know, excited for the episode. Check my phone, power outage. The whole area's <laughs> out of power. Come yeah. home, everything's off. So I'm trying to get things happening. The recording system is plugged into the wall. The lights don't turn on. Mm. It was fucking shit. And we're like... Out of nowhere. You rub your hands together. Yeah, I just went and flicked, flicked a light. I was flicked like, don't turn that on. like, oh, we're good. So we're in action here. We're back from the episode. Thank God for that. And it's another massive one. As I think Thursdays will be come until the back end of the season. It's going to be you know, crazy until we sort of settle down for the year. Yeah. Um, massive episode, mate. Before we get into all the specifics we've picked, anything for the last week that you've picked up in the world of football? Um... Oh, Serie A's just continuing to surprise us, I think. You know, last yeah. week we had Napoli and then this week they thought, oh no, we'll double it and we'll do Roma and uh, <laughs> and Milan. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm not complaining. It's quite good for the channel. You know, a, bit, a lot of interesting stuff to talk about that yeah, one. Yeah, a lot to talk about. But um, yeah, I think PSG kind of just reminded everyone mm. that they're still the, the powerhouse. Yep. Obviously, you look at other teams like Marseille and you go, oh, they've done good business. They mm. might, but then you kind of forget about PSG's quality. So, the Giants are asleep. The Giants, there. yeah. So. Um, we'll get into all of that, especially that middle segment is when we see and that's going to be one hell of a, yeah. a whirlwind. <laughs> over there. We'll start lighter. Um, we'll start at the top with the championship. And it was the two unbeaten sides going head to head Burnley and Sunderland. Who would have thought Sunderland would be at the top of the, uh, the no, championship? No goals conceded as well. They are, they are <laughs> incredible. And they beat Burnley 1 0. <coughs> Easy the best side. I know. People might say, oh, you know, Burnley went to 10 men. We've actually watched the game. It actually happens really late on in the game anyway. Um, Sunderland, sorry. Uh, anyway, they managed to deal with that. So it wasn't a sit-in, like, absorb pressure and get a lucky counter-attack from yeah, no, you know, being you know, pessimistic down 10 men and nicking a win. It was 11-11 you know, for most of the game. Played a bit of football. Uh, and I tell you what, it could have been three or four before the first goal eventually went in. Mm. Um in the end, it was Mandu, I think he, Mandu the goal. He's some was player. very good in this he game, by the way. Him yeah. and Roberts on the flanks were causing uh, chaos. Um, nearly ended up getting the red card. was great in midfield. Um, limited opportunities for Burnley going forward. Uh, I guess a bit of a side note, their team was just all over the place. Yeah. Like, like they had Jay Rodriguez playing, I'm pretty sure, this game here as <laughs> yeah. well. We obviously know Sander Burge has gone to Fulham. Mm, got to feel um, bad for them. otterbear has gone. otterbear has gone. Greg O'Shea's gone. Vegos has gone. gone. They've lost. Um, um, some guy went to Benfica. Uh, Am, Am Dooney? Yes, yes. He, yeah. he went, yeah, no, Am Dooney. Uh, uh, you've, you've lost basically the whole team is basically literally gone. Literally the whole After team. After a week, I said, oh, they're doing great keeping all the place. They <laughs> went from, like, guaranteed promotion, you'd say, yeah. to now they're in with the, the pack. They're in well and big, the pack Big now. time. And not just, like... The top like six pack, I think, like kind of mid table. With it's it's a classic. It's ridiculous, pack again isn't of, it? Like, yeah. you count it from one to twenty. Yeah. <laughs> the bottom four yeah. teams are shit. The rest are just, yeah. all just like competing. <laughs> so, so yeah. um, a massive win for Sunderland. You <clears throat> said it there. Yet to concede in the league. <clears throat> um, new manager as well. Classic championship. New manager. How there. many is that in like you know the past <sighs> five years? Ridiculous. They've gone through <laughs> them like like, yeah. like 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 hot dinners. Um, but it's an impressive start for Sunderland because I don't think anyone really had them. Near automatic, some maybe a few might have had him in playoffs, but no one yeah. really saw this happening. This mm. was unforeseen. I mean, it's similar to to last year. I think I think they started off pretty well last year. They were never like top or second, mm. I don't think, but they were always around the fourth, fifth, sixth kind of mark. Then they dropped off towards the end of the season. Mm. Um, but yeah, they've started off really well. That um, is it. What's his name again? The guy who scored Mundle. Mundle. He looks. Cold. He looks like some player. Looks <laughs> yeah. like Matawaki on the left. Yeah, but, um, yeah, exactly. but um, yeah, he was he was incredible. He was a bit wasteful at times. Like there was a couple. He should have scored probably another another oh. goal or two. Mm. Um, but like they got a good team, man. Like they got him. They got that Patrick Roberts on the right. Who's he's been around kind of everywhere. Yeah, he's been easy. Um, and yeah, like they were that first half. They were just all over them. I don't know how it was only one nil. Yeah. Um, Burnley, they, they, yeah, with obviously it's you know, like it's obvious why they struggled in that mm. game, but um, yeah, they didn't create too much, and I think Scott Parker now we're gonna we're gonna really see how good he is, mm. you know, with a depleted squad, and they're gonna have to they're gonna have to do some business in the next two to three days. I don't know how long's left the window. Is it three days? It's Saturday it closes. Saturday? Up. Yeah. So yeah, they're gonna have to bring in. Two or three attackers, 
Just like I tell you today. what, Lyle Foster and Jay Rodriguez leading the line for you. That's shocking. Um, <laughs> Jay, team, Jay Rodriguez in 2024. Yeah. <laughs> what a time to be alive. Um, Trafford's still there, but he's linked now to um, Newcastle. They're going to get their 18th really? keeper there at Newcastle. Jesus. Perez was the big signing. He's there. Esteb's still there, but you lose a centre back. I think there was a different centre back in the Egan mm-hmm. Riley, I think, I believe. Roberts at right back. Vitinho's still there. Masengo is a bit of a troop. He's been around the place a bit. Brown Hill, the captain's still there. Mm-hmm. But then Frost and Rodriguez up top, like. It's not inspiring, is it? It's not no. playoff promotion kind of to kind of a pairing. So it's yeah, it's all falling apart very quickly. <laughs> it has, yeah. um, it has. A team that has truly fallen apart is Luton. Uh, one nil loss to newly appointed Paul Hickingbottom's mm, Preston yep. after good. the manager just bailed on Preston last weekend. I think it was yeah. before last week he just left the club. So good get actually um, first game in charge. Uh, I was another manager that's very good in the championship. It, didn't see much of it in the Prem last year. It was quite abysmal, but it was really good in the championship prior. A good 1-0 win um, mm. in the end. A battle. Uh, it, it was an ugly old game. Will Keane scored the goal to get them over the line, but pressing a team that everyone thought last year, were, they were in around it. People thought they'd kick on this year. Poor start with the loss and the manager leaves. Like It's all looking like, oh, God, is this going to be a, a yeah. really mediocre season? But hecking bottom in, um, trying to revitalise his side. It's a tough place to go and play football, but Luton. Mm. Luton, Luton, Luton. It's tough, isn't it? Yeah, it's the defence looks pretty different to what it was in the Prem mm. for whatever reason. I don't know if I don't know if they've have they even lost players. Is it just it's, injuries or they're just it's, not it's not there's not much difference. They're just not playing well. It's just, the yeah, the forward line for me is like the exact same. Mm. Like they've still got Ogbene and uh, Carlton Morris is still there and Adebayo is Adebayo's still there. Yeah, yeah. Doughty's still there, so it's the same nucleus, it's just, I don't know if it's just as simple as they're just struggling at the minute or if it's something a little bit deeper within the club, I don't know. But, yeah, that first half was poor from them. Give away the goal, which was a pretty good goal mm. from Preston. Um, second half, they had their chances, but just wasteful. and Never yeah. was a clear... The Doughty's one was probably the best Yeah, that chance. was the one. Wrong but foot, but that had, was probably the most yeah, clear cut they got. They had a couple from edge of the box, which I think went over the bar. But yeah, just yeah, they just look they just look different. Just a different feel around the club. It was yeah. You get to the highest of the Premier League, and you're not supposed to be there. Yeah. And everyone has so much respect for you because you to be even close to getting out yeah. of there, I think was was pretty impressive for them. And then you have that kind of unfair expectation yeah. to go again yeah. when maybe they shouldn't have even been there in the first place. Yeah, it's very but fair. and now it's like oh, it's it's but. Again, I think we, me and you said it two weeks ago. It's just about a stable, stabilized kind of year. Don't, don't even be close to that relegation. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, you'll probably lose some players. So. That's a thing. Like the center, of the mid, I think the middle of the park's a big problem. Yeah. Clark and Baptiste. It's not Ross yeah, Barkley no. and um, uh, oh, what's the Arsenal even guy's the, name? Nakamba when they had yeah. him in there. Nakamba yeah, and Lakonga. That's what they had. Yeah, Lakonga. Yeah. Big names in the middle of the park last season. So. I, that's really the only like Beno Doughty mm. still fullbacks Bell and Mengi are still centre halves it's Chong Morris and Adebayo it's the exact same it's, team yeah. it's just missing that in the, it's a good word nucleus that centre the park mm. I used to reckon Ross Park had one of the great seasons yeah, last year and <laughs> you lose that you lose an all timer so even La Conga, they should I think they should have re-signed him like he was still I he's he part of that team them. yeah so you wanted to keep that exact team together I think but mm. you lose Premier League experience and you leave it up to championship guys that or, although they did it two seasons ago it's, it's so hard to go again the championship is ruthless it now, is we've got to remember like I remember watching that playoff final like <clears> there it was a lot that went their way went to penalties mm. obviously you had the old, old um, heart attack scare with um, the captain then you probably, probably galvanised the troops right seeing like oh, you know they're yeah. going to you know, go hard <laughs> and go for the lat, like go for the group and then like Coventry were, I think, the better teams at like the whole season, better in the game for yeah. me. Um, just feel like fortune just favoured them that day. Just so rode their luck big yeah. time, didn't they? Yeah. You're probably right. We're probably expecting way too much for them to come straight back up or compete straight away. This is the team that scraped into the Prem mm. and then just probably overachieved last season. And so it's like the whole adrenaline rush. Once it stops, the drop just becomes yeah, literally, crazy. Yeah. You've got to want it again, to go again. So it's going to be interesting. They're uh, one of three teams on one point. And they're sitting yeah. second bottom that right now. Home game against QPR, I think that'll say a lot. Huge game. To be honest, if they don't pick up three points. I think, 
I think bottom half. And managers at risk. As much as we don't like it happening, you know how the championship works. Yeah. I reckon the managers at risk. It's, it's just so it, harsh. I think he's it's a great, so it's fair, great but it, it's so harsh, and it shouldn't be the case because he's. I think he's unbelievable. I think yeah, I think he's he's brilliant. But like what you said, it's it's the championship. It's, it's the history yeah. of the championship. It, it is. It <laughs> it's is the like the championship. Oh uh, yeah, uh, I I pray that they. Would, Win that game. Sorry, QPR fans. Are, it's diff. I don't know if there's any. <laughs> yeah, QPR yeah. fans. Are. <laughs> they've they've flipped off anyway. Well, we'll, we'll have to do a, a review of that yeah. game next week then. Yeah, for QPR yeah. If they fans, lose, I, I think that'll be top yeah. of the agenda. So, <laughs> um, but there you go. That's the two big storylines coming from the championship. Leeds back on track as well. They got a big win yep. versus Wednesday. Are they team. real quick? Is that? Do you think they're in a bit like not like as bad as Luton, but they've lost Vitor, they've lost Gray, yeah. they've lost Somerville. Um, Somerville. It's it's, <laughs> it's a big problem. I it's just a lot. I back in Daniel Fark and um they still got like the, uh, the Ampadus and yeah. the Millier and the Bamford. Even though they're all very average players, but <laughs> they're good enough it's to enough keep going. To and that home yeah. ground that's worth five wins mm, in a probably. year, which sounds ridiculous. But I reckon it's generally worth five. When you play at that place, it <clears> it balances. True. And I well, think, I mean. Recently, like teams have, have been around. Right got some points. <laughs> Back in the last when they've had their full teams, so yeah. <laughs> maybe they need to get rid of those. <laughs> maybe, maybe they were the problem. The, you, know, not, maybe, you know, you know, spineless. Know. <laughs> <laughs> but they are soft underbelly for Arsenal. Soft yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that stuff about it. I tell you what, a team that didn't have a soft underbelly was PSG. Mm-hmm. My God, you hinted earlier six nil for Montpellier. I think it's an eleven nil aggregate across the last two games. Yeah, to say they've the got club. them in their back pocket, I think, is an understatement. A little bit understatement there. Um, I'll go through what, what happens. So Bradley Barkala open in the fourth minute. Um, Jean Neves with a perfect pass to find Asensio for the second. Um, one touch to just split apart the defence. Um, Donna mm-hmm. Rima's one and only save in the first half. Um, kept the game goalless just bef- around the half hour mark. Barkala doubled his account in the 53rd minute. Um, uh, uh, and D- Dembele scoring the ball across to him. Then Hakimi came in for the fourth, 58th minute. 60th minute, Zaya Emery with a fantastic little piece of skill to get past the defender. And then it was wrapped up by Lee in the 82nd minute for the sixth goal. Um, 10 goals in two games for PSG now. Mm. Um, yet to concede, I believe, as well. I think they conceded one, one in the first game. So one conceded, 10 scored in the opening two games. Lewis and Enrique in charge. This Mate. Last week, it was, it was our <laughs> last day chat. This week is PSG chat because, my yeah. God, this was <clears> impressive. They were very, very good. <laughs> that that <laughs> midfield three of Vitinha, uh, Jean Neves and Zeremri, I mean, is that not the most exciting midfield in, in Europe? It's got, it's got to be. A, it's got to be in terms of how young they are and how good they can be, talented um, players. Man. Yeah, that's that's a serious midfield, and they're just playing with so much freedom now. Mm. Like it's not a one man team. Yeah. Everyone's getting involved. I think there was a couple of goals where they're just playing one twos, and you didn't really see that last year. It was more give it to Mbappe, run. get into the box, and then he'll cut it back or he'll score himself. Mm. Um, so yeah, they look good. They look really good, but you know the. The thing about PSG is you grade them on their Champions League performances, yeah. don't you? Yeah. Because they've dominated Liga and for God knows how long. So, but again, like it's you know it's still very impressive. Dembele looked good. Um, I've been Barkala, him out. <laughs> yeah. After uh, it, he, so he listens, he bro. Listen, he listens, listen, bro. Him out and he listen. um, Barkala looked incredible. He's he could have a big year. He could have a really big year. So um, he could have like a a Nico Williams type of year where he breaks out and yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, they looked they looked very very good. You're taking the word out of my mouth. I have got something else planned for that later on, but um, maybe I do as well. Maybe, <laughs> maybe you do. Um, but he was the guy from that match, week, right? Just in terms of <clears throat> him and Neves as a link up, like just in yeah. tight areas, it it gave a Spanish vibe. This had yeah, the yeah, performance yeah. where it was a lot of intricate play, chucking players forward. As the freedom's a key word. It just feels like the Lewis and Rekha's gone out there and said, just play, be, be you. Just go and attack. Yeah, yeah. Um, don't worry about the consequences, partly because Montpellier were dog shit. So they were. You can go and do whatever you want to do. They go out there and you know, play the one twos and like, and I, I, that Neves pass, that second goal for us, that is mm. picturesque. Just mm. bang, splits the defence in half. You go chase that ball in, score yep. the goal. And I, I'm a big believer in, I, maybe they play the false nine. Asensio yeah. down the middle will seem to work. I like it. It opened the game up. Dembele looked dangerous again. 
I think Colin Moani is very average footballer. Yeah, no, he's, I think he's pushed to the edge now. Um, the injuries obviously give an opportunity for Sancho down the middle, but I think that's the way they I go. Think it works. Because Gonzalo it's Ramos, again, is a, is a fantastic player, a, a, a solid player, but he might not be what they need in this team. Mm. And he's, uh, he's too... He's too much that Darwin Nunes vibe where he's not going <laughs> to... He's going to yeah. do a lot of hard work, but he's not going to just finish yeah, the no. ball off. And I think it just creates freedom <laughs> for Barcola, for Asensio, and, and for Dembele to go and score. Mm. I, mean, I haven't seen them all look this good together. Yeah, no. Ever. I haven't we, seen Dembele play with that freedom in <laughs> since Dortmund, to be honest. <laughs> um, so... I also think maybe I was a bit harsh on them giving them a D in uh, my uh, <laughs> my uh, <laughs> my transfer thing. Just, just like, yeah. Like, obviously, you lose Mbappe, which is massive. But the way they play, it's just with so much freedom. And, like, Jao Neves is... Fuck, you know, I knew he was good, but some of his passing yeah. is... Uh, I didn't realise that he was this good. Serious. So, um, my, my uh, apologies to... Uh, PSG. PSG fans, yeah, come out in force. Yeah, so, uh, I think you, you said I you said I cooked last week, but uh, looking back looking back on it, maybe you simmered. <laughs> maybe just just look warm. Yeah, just just uh, <laughs> turn it up a little, little bit more, a little bit more to cook. Um, I, I didn't want to touch on that. We're not going to talk about Real this week, but they got a good win and a um important win. I think it's probably the key yeah, word. Yeah. But it's funny because now Real looking very rigid and sh- stuck <clears> a bit and mm. relying on the brilliance of Valverde. I sort of touched on it last week. Mbappe's gone there and sort of ruined the feng shui, what was going on in that front line. And you look at PSG and the way that they've just obliterated the opening two games of the season and we're seeing the best of Barclo, I think, probably end up at Real yeah. in about three or four Could years' time, do, the way yeah. he's going. Um, we're seeing Dembele back at his best, at least this week. Last week, it was, has he gotten the super score team of the week, even though he didn't have a great game, he still got in there. Uh, is the Mbappe effect in terms of the negative side of it? Do you reckon that's almost too much for players around him? Um, well, it's hard to judge, man. <laughs> it's he's so hard to judge. Individually, he's brilliant, but does he just <clears throat> lower the performances of players around him? Because even France. Yeah. Then Bello Paul, Griezmann Paul. But then you look at the the World Cup, and I know it's a long time ago, but you look at that, and France were shocking for 80 minutes, and then he just went mm. mental. Um. Yeah, it's it's hard. It's hard to judge because it's just. I mean, I, like everyone expects this to turn around. Like it's two games and he hasn't mm. scored. Like it's you know it's not a crisis by any stretch. But it's I see where you're coming from. Where it's like, yeah, it's that. I'm just worried he's making others around him not as good. Mm. I reckon it's like because Vinny's becoming. I still think Vinny's had a fucking great start. Oh, he had a great start, but he's season. becoming more of a facilitator yeah. in a way. And you saw he comes off and then Real go and score that goal with, with Endrick and it was a yeah. free and flowing start. And we're only seeing Arda start because of Belling and being out. Yeah. And yeah. I'm like when Belling comes in, we don't see Arda, but Arda was fantastic Arda was in the fantastic. midfield. Arda has to stay for me. Oh, you he, has to, yeah. he has to get in there somehow. I think, and you can't move Valverde and, you know, um, Chumeni. Even Brahim Diaz came on and scored. Oh, it was fantastic. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> you got Endrick coming on and Brahim coming on and scoring. You got Arda playing a fantastic game. And by the way, Val, that, that's just what Val Verde is to me. Oh, Real struggling, sorry. look a little bit stuck, and they can't really get the opening goal. Upsets Val. I think he's still underrated as well. I don't think people, people would actually have him as the best midfielder in the world. But he but, probably but, is. But people, we, when we, do, we talked about him, maybe it was the, the central midfielder. When list. we had him first, both of us. But on the TikTok, I got, got, got people saying, you got cooking slated. me for saying, like, oh, you don't watch him play. I'm like, yeah. Like, but, do you, but do you watch him play? Because <laughs> like, he's incredible, it, man. He's the, he's, he's the most important Is he their best team. player? He probably is their best. Most, I think most the, important. Yeah. Crucial. I say that crucial. crucial most, yeah. He's a crucial player yeah. for that side. Because on the weekend, they might not win that game. Yeah, no. Bella Delid literally set with all, mate, the bus, the, the coach, <laughs> <laughs> the training ground in yeah. front of that goal. They were not letting anything through. Yeah. And it, what it took was a mi- moment of brilliance from Valverde to allow everything to open up. Mm. And Mbappe could be that guy, and you know, Vinny could, but yeah. I think Vinny and Valverde, these are the players that they just, they for me are their players. And I just, yeah. as a as a Vinny guy, <laughs> and love watching Real play, I'm just worried that I, I'm not doubting Mbappe's quality because I think, like you said in the World Cup, he single handedly got them over the line. But was it because of how Mbappe centric <coughs> or how you have to become subconsciously or consciously become Mbappe centric? that Others around you just mm. drop performances off. Yeah, no, it's so it's, it's, it's valid. It's it's a, it's 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 a watch, and the more that 
he doesn't produce, the more your point just becomes even more concrete. That's and, the thing, right? Because if he performs, you sort of chuck that point to the side. Yeah. But I'm sort of happy it's happening because we mm. get to see that, all right, we need to see, still need to see Vinny involved and Rodrigo mm. and Arda get involved and yeah. Brahim needs to be involved. Yeah, 100%. Even if Mappe is scoring, we still want to see these guys oh, yeah, part of the squad. Yeah. And he doesn't have to s- score to no. like you no. know, play well and stuff. But the first two performances haven't been, you know, Mm. The Mbappe that we knew at PSG, and that's because of he's used to being the guy. Yeah. But now it's gelling with players that are on the same level as him yeah. in different positions. So. And he's had to play in the middle as well. It's, I mean, yeah. you can see how that all works out in the end. Yeah. Um, we'll come to our first big segment um, of the day. And the way we're going, we're going to do five for both of these <coughs> segments. We had ten oh, plans yeah. for the next segment, but we're going to do five for both. Okay. We start with the five early storylines over the season. So. Just things we picked up. Oh, I sort of like this storyline segment. It's basically a statement of what you sort of seen, um, what's been going on, how you see a few things playing out. Yeah. Um, do you want to get kicked off here with your first? So my first storyline. Story so I started with the Prem. Prem. And I've just gone with how bad Everton looks so far. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I, awful. I've watched a lot of Prem this year. Um, and I was, I was thinking of... Just a few different storylines. I was going to do like Wolves and stuff, but I thought, no, nah, I've had... I know defensively they were shocking, but I, going forward, I think they've actually looked pretty good with Cunha and um, Strand Larson and he stuff like that. Good. Which yeah, I, Larson, I, yeah. I think he's a fucking good striker. Yeah. Um, but just like they've got the most uninspiring front three, I think, in Premier League history with McNeil Harrison and Calvert Lewin. <laughs> I mean, that is that just screams like <laughs> League One. Yeah. I mean, like yeah. that. I think League One front threes are better than that. Like they are yeah, Rexham, shocking. Wrexham will cook them. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> seven, seven goals yeah. conceded, none scored. Just you know, Sean Dyche is getting exposed. He was known as this defensively solid past, yeah. team, but now they're just they're leaking goals, leaking chances. Pickford looks shaky, and I think that's the first time you could say that about him mm. with the ball at his feet, and just as a keeper in general. They lose Onana. Look like. No one's coming in because they probably can't spend. I know they mm. signed a winger from Napoli, I think, on loan. Or maybe they bought him, but sure. he hasn't even seen the pitch, I don't no. think, because they got super Dwight McNeil. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I mean, it's just... I just can't believe how bad they've looked. I knew they'd be bad because of losing Onana mm. and they haven't brought anyone, but I thought they'd be defensively just so much better. Yeah. And they are. <laughs> they're shocking. <laughs> they are shocking. Um. So. My point, I just realized I did some of the points last night. It's becoming a bit invalid after what happened last night, but um, <clears throat> I'm more, it's more of a worry about um, Crystal Palace. Yeah. So my storyline is how bad can it get for Crystal Palace this season? Mm. Because the window still open. It's, and we know how crazy the final day is, but Gahia Paddy, there's a £75 million pound bid for him from Newcastle. It? And as much as you've lost Anderson, you've, um, you lost a Lee saying you have to accept that. Oh, I would take that half. I could buy four center that. backs for that you price. Have to accept that, yeah. Uh, I, f- I feel like you'd have to take it, and they keep ca- mm. they keep being played in captain. So I don't know what the goal is there. Mm. It felt like a last hurrah on the weekend, the prem, but he went and played last night in the yeah. Carabao Cup, and um, the performances, like in terms of a display, it's still glass in the football. It's still really engaging it and exciting, and. Now that I have a real investment in this football club, I've, I've watched them yeah. every week. Um, if I said the first two weeks, and <clears> watched the Carabao Cup highlights last night. It's still very attractive. But they hadn't scored yet in the Premier League until last night in the Carabao mm. Cup. Um, obviously lucky with the SA stuff and the like. But with players leaving and, you know, I think Daichi come out as a great pickup. but he's going to take time. They're in the Prem. You know, yeah. you know, the German league players come across to take a while to sort of get their feet wet. Um, if you lose your captain and Gay, you lose both centre-backs then and Anderson and Gay here. You know, when did Adam Morton end up leaving the football yeah. club? It is a bit, I'm sort of snowballing here a little bit, but I just love this club. I love the manager. Yeah. I love the players. And I just hope it all just sort of <laughs> works itself out. Whether they make some massive moves in the last few days, I'm hoping they can get another centre back, <coughs> even if Gahi doesn't. Well, they're looking go. at Joe Gomez, so which that, I think would be a great That's a good deal. get for them. So, Obviously, yeah. actually, Nketia joined last night, yeah. I think, as well. Yeah. So now you've got Mateta and Ketia. So you've got Odson Eduardo. I don't think mm. it's great, but at least there's players there. I think my shadow selling him is a good thing. Like a he's fucking, he sucks. He's so bad, man. It's I'm just worried because the system is so good. Mm. I love the I love a lot of guys, and some great pitch side drip as well. I love the shoes he wears <laughs> as well, and those fans deserve it. We said it, um, yeah. I think a while back. Yeah, last, these fans yeah. 
deserve the world because they've been stuck in mediocrity in 12th place for how many years now? 10th to 12th. <laughs> Give them a chance to just have a year pushing up like Brian yeah. had or something like that. So it might be fixing itself as this is going on and as it comes out, but yeah. I'm just worried about how bad it could get. Yeah. I mean, if they keep Wharton and Eze and then use the money and spend well, and just if it goes up well, yeah. they could spike really quickly, man. Oh, because so, they play good football. They yeah, just they need, play need good football. Luck go their way. So, yeah. But that's, that's a good one. Uh, Liga and I'll go to And go. we've already touched on it But I just went with PSG Playing with freedom mm. Just yep. 10 goals I think And they've only conceded one Everyone's getting involved Jao Nevers looks amazing With his four assists already <laughs> um, And Luis Enrique is just He's oh he's, he's finally coaching now I think yeah. He's yeah. finally coaching So um, Yeah Not so focused on, on one player anymore I like it I Sort of went the same, but to make one player focus on 1v1. I'm going Greenwood versus Barkla. Whose <laughs> year will it be in League One? Because <laughs> like I'm it. super excited about these two guys. We obviously talked to High Heaven about Greenwood last week, but he's been very good this year. Scored again on the weekend. Yep. Marseille go as far as he can possibly take him, I feel like. But for PSG, it might be <clears> they go as far as Bradley Barkla takes him. And I, I was calling for it time after time on the prediction videos in the Euros. I was like, just drop Dembele and start Barkla. Because when this guy comes on, He's still got that young, vibrant spot. He just runs. He runs at defenders, skips past defenders. Very quick. Really good with the ball at his feet. Passing is still the part of his game he has to work yeah. on. But we saw him working in the one-twos and triangles with Jean Evers on the weekend. I'm just really excited to see how well he does because, as you said, it's not an Mbappe team anymore. It's a PSG team. Yeah, It might slowly become Barkler's team and he might be the player. So I'd love to see these two youngsters going at it. Who comes out on top? And to be honest, whoever comes out on top might be their team that wins the league. So yeah. that's the little yeah. one we want matchup I'm very excited about watching this year. Who wins the play of the season nice. out of those two? Nice. Uh Syria. Syria. And I've got poor starts for both Roma and Milan. Yeah. Um I think they've both drawn and lost a game so yes. far. Yep. Nothing inspiring to come out of both teams at the minute. Um you know Fonseca for Milan's still finding a, a Solid foundation for this mm. team, but you know, Torino they should have lost that game, and then you go to Parma and they got battered to be honest for, for most of it. Um, and then Roma just you know, De Rossi's still relatively new, like Fonseca, but it's I mean, he's, he's had more time, and there's just nothing, nothing you know, Dovbix, you know, he hasn't touched the ball I, I as far as I'm concerned. Um, Dabala's staying, but again, he's only getting older. So mm. you can't expect the same Dubai that we got last year. Um, and, yeah, just nothing nothing from, from those two teams at the minute. Mm. I went very similar. I went Napoli and Milan. I was like, when does it start to click for Napoli both teams? got off because <laughs> of their performance. Uh, they were very good on the weekend, <laughs> but I keeping in mind it was a you know, new Bologna team and a new management yeah. and had a few li- injuries go down. So uh, uh, my two points is when is it going to click for these two sides <clears> and most importantly for these two managers, when are they going to – get their team right when they're going to adjust and, mm. and get going because it's almost like it's going to be about time for Milan to do it. But with the performance on the weekend, they're a long way off it. They're still about two yeah. or three weeks at least off it. True. So, okay, now, now a little bit hyper. They're, they're probably back in the swing of things. But we can't ignore the fact they got batted opening match today versus, mm. you know, high and mighty mm. <laughs> Hells for owner there. So um, <laughs> I'm still keeping my eye on them. I'm still not 100% convinced yet. So I'm, my storyline is how long will it take for these teams to click when they're just fully in the swing of things? Is it next week? Is it match week 10? Yeah. And that's the question because, as you said, the Serie A is looking very, very competitive this season. You've yeah, got to be on it um, quickly. Yeah. Uh, La Liga, I went with Barca finding ways to win. Yes. Similar to like, oh, yeah. not similar, but last year they, if they didn't play well, they didn't win. Mm. And I think we can both agree that they started the season well but not playing at their absolute yeah. peak. They've had yeah. good like halves or good 10, 15, 20-minute stints in mm. games, but they're not playing full games, but they're still winning. And Flick's still instilling his system. Um, and he's, yeah. They got, I mean, the young, the young talent they've got is ridiculous. So. Ridiculous. And maybe they're better than we all thought they would be So because they're, they're playing pretty well at the minute, but they're still a, a long way to go. Mm. I went very similar. I said... Um, how well can Barca compete with Real? Like, can yeah. they go toe-to-toe with them for 
as long as possible because they could man uh, Hansi Flick and Lewandowski is one of the great duos that, <laughs> he, he looked been. dead like at the start of last I was, year uh, <laughs> abusing that guy I was I was saying yeah. also give it up mate you're done <laughs> what are they Saudi like? looking good but and my god he is killing it right now we obviously know he's got, they got Lamine there they've somehow managed <clears> to <throat> scam old boy getting <laughs> so yeah, yeah, yeah. through someone else being injured. Yeah, they got him finally got registered. <laughs> until Which is just the end mental. of the year. So they had to, they had to re-register him come January. So there's all sort of rubbish going on there. But they've got yeah. him now. Araujo coming back. Kunde right back back to like 2021, 2022 type Kunde. Yeah. It's looking good. Yeah, it is. It's just it about is. injuries though. It's, it's the boss that we should have got last year. Yeah. We should have competed with yeah. every hour and taken yeah. it away. So, yeah, and just my storyline is how well they can compete with them throughout the year. Yeah. Um, I didn't go with the Bundesliga. Yep. We spoke about this off air just because mm. it's been the first match week. I don't, I, me, personally, didn't learn too much. Yeah. Um, so I went to the championship. I went – do you remember Josh Madger? Did you watch mm. Sunderland Till I Die? Yeah. He's, he's in the championship now, dominating at West Brom. He's got four goals already. Had a really good stint at, at Sunderland in League One. But um, – Went to, to France and, and that didn't really work out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think it was Bordet he went to, who now no, conveniently aren't even a club. No, I don't exists, think. So. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that's his fault. Um, <laughs> Stinker. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, he's back at well, back in England in the championship, and he's he's cooking again cooking. from from where he left. And he's only twenty five as well, so he, he's both. still still got plenty of time. So. I like it. Then you could have a, a big there's year. Champion fans, there's, there's you. There's, there's you the the West Brom, there you go. There you go. Um, <laughs> I went Bundesliga, and because I actually watched this game, and I'm, I'm going to say it, I'm going to get into it later on, how many late goals can Leverkusen get this season? <laughs> nice. Yeah, how yeah, many yeah. scams of wins Sorry. can I get this season? We'll get on to that, but um, that <laughs> might be the most God. controversial of the lot. <laughs> oh my God. Again, the penalty dodgy. Penalty saved. Dodgy. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> we'll get into it later on. But my, yeah. the way they continue to do this, we've had two games this season. Only two. They only played two games. <laughs> both and they've games. both somehow both done it in the last gasp. Uh, it's I don't a know. joke, man. It's it's actually like... It's sort of scary now. You can't explain it. It's like just... You actually have to like coach your team into how to play in the 90th minute against this team. <laughs> Like, pro- like you don't say, "Oh, lads, just you just see it out." <laughs> now it's like, fucking, properly get video yeah. analysis yeah. and coach it because it's the chances they create in the ninetieth minute. Like it's just you just can't give them the ball. I think you've got to try and keep just it, keep ball, even keep if ball. it's playing out the back. Yeah, you don't give them the ball. <laughs> Fullbacks some suddenly become wingers. Yeah, suddenly Patrick Schick's on the pitch and you're just yeah. worried for your life. Frimpong can't finish. But when it hits the 90th minute, he's, 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 he's a free. Superstar, yeah. <laughs> Grimaldo's putting in great balls yeah. in the box. One when when Grimaldo missed the thought, finally. Uh, they're not going to score. That's it. They're done. It's over. And then they get a penalty, which... Beyond. <laughs> okay. Maybe dodgy, but we'll get onto it. But, uh, it's ridiculous. Yeah. ridiculous to me. Um, no, you cooked. But there we go. Like. That's our five storylines from the major leagues around Europe. Now the next one, or the next whole chunk, <laughs> is very interesting. Syria. The league we've um, <coughs> this is our, this is our new d- adopted league this year. Last year was Bundesliga. We're going to adopt Serie A this year. This is our league. We start with the shorter wrap up. Roma slip up two one to Empoli. Um, again, nothing, nothing great from Empoli. Nothing great from Roma though. Yeah, no. Roma far from it. Um, twentieth minute, Fazzini, um denied early by Sfila. Um, Giassi, uh, make it one nil. Pellegrini came very very close, and Mancini also came very close. Um, Paredes with the most awful 20 seconds of his life losing the ball and failing in the box allowed Colombo to make it 2-0 and Shemedov, uh got a goal back in the 80th minute but never really looked lucky winning it yeah no Roma were just that first half Empley should have been 2-3-0 up they had a header yep um, they had Colombo missed that easy yeah, head at the back post easy head at the back post um, so yeah Roma in that first half just they were just nowhere. I mean, they, they didn't create anything. Empoli were were brilliant. Um, even second half, same kind of kind of gist. Mm. Um, then they get the goal, and then you expect them to push, and they did. Dabal hits the post. That was yeah, right the end. That yeah. was the chance. But um, yeah, it's just it's just just nothing. Just so uninspiring again. Yeah, it's given like how it ended with Jose. It's mm. not much happened. Yeah, not and really. Jose was doing better than this. Yeah. 
At least so I can. With less? Yeah, I can peeing. I guess, yeah, you, got Dov, you got Dov pick there, right? Like a, yeah. a big central field. Get I the swear ball. he hasn't touched the ball. <laughs> I'm yet to see I, I any shot no. so far this season. Even just touches on the ball. Like even the ones that go off the post, they're like, unfortunately, yeah, they're just like, getting away from him. Yeah, just getting away from him. So. And like at the, the back of that massive Dabala news of him staying, you'd think. There'd be a lift. There'd be a something. massive energy around the game, around the state, around the, around the, around the team. Nah. It looked like they couldn't be asked to play yeah, in the game. It was, yeah, it was dreadful. <laughs> and even like, like Dov Bick, it, it's it's not his fault or anything. It, no, they they got to get the best out of him. He, yeah. They know what kind of striker he is. Look at how Girona, you know, u- utilised mm. him last year. It was mm. perfect. You got two wingers that yep. put the ball in the box. Um, again, there were goals last year which he created for himself. But yep. majority of them were get the ball in the box. Yeah. He'll find good positions, but they're just not doing that. So, yeah, I thought the the partnership of Dabala and Dovbik would be exciting. Yep. But so far, it's it's nothing. But I don't see much of it at the moment. You know. It's a lot of really negative football. I just yeah. I'm I mean, you you hired at yeah. end of last year. You said, "Is this just a manager bounce?" Because t- towards the end of last year, they were they were pretty bad. bad. <laughs> like there were a lot of nil nils and yeah. one nil losses. So. Yeah, so I, I don't know where they go. There's a lack of creativity, there's a lack of desire, want, drive at the moment. How long do you think they'll give him? That's what I'm saying. Uh, uh, I'm they thinking, have to give him a bit of time. Cause well, you think, you'd think by they match sacked, week they sacked, 10? Is that a, then yeah. basically I think that's around when a year? You judge when, kind of most. Yeah, because yeah. Mourinho was around in the middle of the season, right? Mm. So you're basically giving him a year if it's around match week 10. If you're... <clears throat> yeah. What's that, Mark? A, what's that, well, they started five wins. Yeah, five wins is your line, they love which it. is really bad for ten games. Five wins not good, but I might have a look at their fixtures. Actually, it's, it's it, I'm just worried that it was all just passion and inshallah from yeah, De Rossi at the start. And he's saying all the right things, but can he coach? Can he yeah, really I mean, get the best out of these players? I've just had a look who they've got next, and I'm very worried. <laughs> I'm genuinely very worried. They got Juventus next. I don't win that. Who at? Juventus is no ground. chance. No chance. They got Genoa away, who got a point off Inter and have looked good so far. They have very good so far. They got Udinese at home and Venezia at home, so they need to win those yep. two. Then they got Monza away. Like tough, these tough are, game. they've got they, these are tough games, man. And they they haven't played the two games they've had. They haven't played anyone. I mean, Empoli, we both had them in relegation. Yep. And yep. they smashed them. Tell you what, those Serie predictions are looking awful. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Palmer just competing, yeah. <laughs> Empoli competing. <laughs> Como, Como or like Como looking 19th good. or something. It's, oh done, uh, it's not yeah, it's not looking good for them. Yeah. But it's, like, it's going to make it interesting to see how it all turns around because once again, Roma made their choice. Mm. They went early on it, and now there's no managers there. And I, the fans, just, I, I don't know if they're disgruntled. I don't know if they booed or anything at the end of the match, but they didn't want Mourinho sacked as far as no. I'm concerned. So. And it's going to be awkward. It's like United and Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. It's like a, it's a, a son. Mm. Like it's you, literally, he's you one of their greatest ever, yeah, him you, and Totti. You, can you turn on <laughs> your, your, cap, like your former captain? Yeah. Like, you know, can you do that? Does it get ugly then how it finishes up? Does he even want to leave? Will he just yeah. keep staying until he's forced out? Or does he walk? Yeah. I, I don't just, think he'll walk, but... <laughs> I just think he's been thrusted into this role and I guess we've been given some good precedence with Motta and Fabregas mm. and Alonso. But I feel like he's been thrust in this role and just hasn't got the CV yet. Mm. I mean, Juve next, it'll... <laughs> that could get ugly, it's all. Right. It's third game in, but it's already it's already alarm bells, I think. Fair chunk of them ring. So, yeah. Fair chunk of them yeah. ring. Um, on a brighter note, the team that we slandered last week, Napoli, are back. They're back. <laughs> only two, only two, one never week. doubted you never for doubted a second. Conte <laughs> wins. He just wins. This was very convincing. 3 0 over Bologna. Actually, a solid form. They, they did concede a few chances here or there. Yeah. Bologna pressed bloody. Well. I don't, Bologna, I didn't really, Bologna is basically the Swiss national team. I know. know. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remy Freud yeah. is there, and Doi is there, uh, Abish is there. So I'm like, I'm like yeah. damn, this is like a strong, you know, know. Swiss If only they played as they did at the Euros. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and Doi had some a chance in there here and there, but. I tell you what, really, really good stuff. And you knew from straight away, Rasput already had a chance in like the first forty seconds. And you're like, yeah. okay, they're they're at the races here. They yeah. uh, exploited the press. When they played through the press, they looked really good. Kravitz Scalia probably maybe I'd say Medawek or Barkler, probably incredible. the player of the weekend in general. I Just, mean, we said it. His season is dependent. Their season is dependent on how he performs. Mm. And if he plays well, 
they'll win games. And if yeah. he doesn't play well in games, they probably won't win them like they did last week. So it's, it just it looked good throughout it. De Lorenzo opened the scoring again. He looked much better this week. He as looked well. much better. And my man wasn't God. running through porridge. It's good. Since <laughs> he was probably like thirty cent degrees, it was so hot. At, yeah. Uh, and then Napoli left the game. Um, his goal was fantastic. Crap, it's two about one time parches. Mm. That little dink over the top. That was oh. just for him to run onto it and just smack it home. Yeah. Fantastic in the forty seventh minute. Um, Politano came close again the fifty eighth. It was all second half pressure. Crap, Scalia scored the second goal in the seventy fifth minute and the third right at the end. Simeone and mm. David Neres coming yeah, on yeah. to assist him, so which is that's good signing. Exciting though, like stuff that. as well. Scott McTominay on his way as well. Yep, and Napoli. Lukaku and so Lukaku. So things. See, in a way, see how it quickly. I love, it can I love reactionary content. They're, they're I back. Know, uh, I know. But I, I, but I think we had every right to cause have a go. I mean, it, that was that was, fucking, that was shocking. So yeah, um, things again looking mm. much, much, much better than right. they did last week. Made a couple of signings which we said last week were needed. Yeah. Much better performance from some of their better players. Like their midfield was much better. Um, better. Di Lorenzo was playing like a proper captain that wanted to stay at the club. Yep. Yep. Um, yeah. Again, gave her a couple of chances. Like you said, Bologna could have easily taken the lead. I yeah. think they had that one on one, which was a tight angle, but it was yeah. a good save. But um, yeah, much, much better. Much, much better. You've got Di Lorenzo kissing the bag. You've got Kravitz Gilly going after the crowd. Yeah. And these ones. Like and it bingo, was big crowd bingo as well. was ticking off. Oh, yeah, they were up for crowd. it. They were up for it. Because usually, usually the top tier is the one that's packed mm. and the bottom tier, I don't know why they do that in Syria. It's, 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 it's but thing. this time, the, the whole stadium was just... And the energy with it, you could feel <laughs> it. You could feel about the game. There was a real yeah. vibe around the club. Obviously, Conte's first game there. They're probably sick of seeing Conte beat them. They're happy to have Conte on their side these <laughs> yeah, days. Probably. And I tell you what, the Kaku joining, there's your striker, right? Raps are always not the answer. And so. Conte can, he's gotten the best out of him. I'll tell you what, he's got uh, the best of him a lot of times. Yeah. And with Tomine adds Neres, that quality yeah, midfield. Yeah, Neres with a, does he start, do you reckon, Tomine? I think he does. Yeah. Do they change to a midfield three or stay with McTominay and. And Gisa. And Gisa. I feel like then Gisa and McTominay for me. But yeah. it makes sense to go with three and put Scott McTominay at the 10. That's what I would do. Because he'd be bloody good playing. Yeah, playing a bit further forward. We have to adjust this whole system because that Bongiorno came back. Um, they dropped Spin at Zola. They looked much more balanced yeah, in the back Spin line. Spin at Zola, I thought would actually be a good signing for he them. He looked after, mid. Yeah, mid. after last week. That's the one the good thing Roma did, I guess. Maybe <laughs> ship him. Get rid of him. Yeah. <laughs> um, but no, yeah, there's... Good signs, but it's a good point with McTominay because he probably does his best work at the ten. I think, yeah, I don't think you can play him as a box, a box or as a six. I think he yeah. has to play as a ten. As a arse, like because Laboka and and Gisa then do that double pivot role. But that's the thing. Who are you dropping from the, the forwards? Because that's where they've added mm. a lot of like Neres. I think like, Neres has to start. He has to start. You got Politano. You got Raspadori. You got Simeone. Not Plus, you add in Lukaku. Mm. I think you got to find a way to play at least. Because they play two in midfield, right? Yeah. So you got to play four. I feel like you've got Neres on the right, Lukaku up top, McTominay at the 10, uh, Kravis Kelly on the, off the left. With that then looks, looks all right, man. <laughs> and then just go to a back four of just, well, Di Lorenzo, um, Buongiorno. Who's centre half alongside him? Is it Juan Jesus? He's still there? Jesus. And then left back, whoever whoever's available. Just whack yeah. him in there. Nice minutes off. Mare and Gold. It's, it's, it's he, much Goltz, better. Yeah. It <laughs> much, looks much good better. on paper. Looks and like then good on the there. bench, you have a bit of depth. If you're not playing Lobotko or... You have another forward on the bench like Simeone or something. So, yeah, it's, it's exciting. It's, now. it's much better. It's crazy it's how we better. can change crazy things in football. <laughs> so yeah, you know, they. I mean, you, look, look, we know what happened. They listened to us. Mm. They went out, spent the money. Conte said. Conte okay. said. Understand. Right, I get you. Big sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Billy Gilmore. No, we don't, no, need, you. don't need you. We want oh, the real Scottish. I'm actually glad Billy Gilmore's staying because he was unbelievable against United. Very I thought. good. Him and James Milner. Yeah. Dynamic duo midfield. We would have thought you saying that. A dynamic duo. Very, James Miller at 39 is better than most Premier League midfielders, which I think at is crazy age, to say. Yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah. What, what a player. But blo- what is he now? 39? A, a few, how many, 18 games <laughs> away from Barry or something? Like that. It's, so, it's yeah. close. So he'll break that. As I mean, he's, yeah, I love him. Absolutely love him. Superstar. Um, and the final game from Syria was Parma 2, Milan 1. <laughs> and I tell you what, it could have been a lot. It, you, you look at the Chelsea Wolves game. What was that? 6-2. Six, six two. Two, yeah. This could have been a 6-2. This could have been a 6-2. They two. butchered some huge one-on-ones. Um, 
part of my scam. I've got a yeah. massive list of things. That it happened. just took so long to to, to just shoot. Shoot, well, yeah. So like, then it's a man open up the score in the second minute. He, he could be fantastic. He was good at the Euros, by the way, as well. He could. Yeah, I was um, going to put him as or a bit of a guru. I was going to put him as one of my players to look out for. Yeah, but um, yeah, I didn't go with him in the end. But Dang, he's dangerous old player. He looks dangerous. Man. Um. It went a little bit in terms of the game, went quiet until around the 20 minute mark. Moose had a shot deflected wide of the goal. Then Okafor had uh, a shot was saved really quickly by Suzuki around the 30th minute mark. Ryan is, was fantastic this game. He had a yeah, multiple chance, but yeah. probably one of the best came the 32nd minute. Brilliant um, piece of skill. Put the ball, looked like it was a cross, but almost turned shot. That Suzuki had tap wide. Um, Pavlovich headed wide as well in the 37th minute, so pressure was building at that end of the pitch. But then the odd count that would come from Palmer on, uh, on the other way. Um, saw him massing, uh, missing a massive three on two chance, pulling his shot wide of the goal. I don't know how the hell he missed the target there. Um, man again, the counter attack, nearly a chance, but caught up by Pavlovic. Mahalo then went one on one. He messed up a one on one, Mayan Yan, making the save there. Rangers then missed another massive chance coming off the crossbar in the 47th minute. Heaps of chances at both ends. Pulisic nearly. Um, found the back and out in a volley. His shot was saved. Then Dennis Mann came close. Uh, another account in the 62nd minute. Milan drew level through Pulisic after Talon and Liao linked up. Finally, all the good players linking Finally, up. Finally, yeah. Um, and then just to top it off, Palma, Cantillary, 77th minute. One into the other. Th- two passes all it took. Counter-attack yeah. goal. Yeah. That was 2-1. Mm. There's every single thing that happened in that chaotic yeah. game. And I tell you what. Palmer impressed me. <laughs> Palmer was very, very good. Oh, I regret everything I said about yeah, they Yeah, were, they were very, very good. Um, I don't want to take anything away from them, but Milan they against should. Palmer looked very much like Barca last year defensively, where yeah, they are just so open. They're so high up the pitch, and they're just getting countered so easily. Mm. And Palmer could have scored, like what you said, it could have been a 6-2. Um and look, they were brilliant. Dennis Mann was unbelievable. He he's one to to look out for yeah. for sure. Um, but I like even like this, this. You get it back to one one. Just be just be sold. To, you look. You got so much attacking threat. Just like calm, calm. Two up. passes, and it's the easiest goal you'll ever mm. see that they score. Yeah. Um. So yeah, they're just they're just defensively. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know why they're playing this high line. It's clearly not working. It didn't work for Barca last year. Yeah. If you're going to play it like Liverpool have in previous years, you mm. better make sure that you have a sweeper keeper first and foremost like Allison. And yeah. I don't think Mignon's that no, sort of keeper. Guy. Yeah. And you want to make sure you have good defenders. Yeah. And Tay Hernandez is great, but apart from him, I don't think any of them are world class. They're, they're all attacking defenders yeah. though. And that just... It's just so disappointing, man. I expected so much more from them just in, in how they played. But just I, defensively, I don't know what they're doing. I, I don't know. It's it's confusing me. To it's way too easy for them. Um, yeah. Saw so Man, Bonnie, the, those were the three at the top. Mm. They were fantastic. Yeah. Things a bit of a shout looking at that um, young kid, Bonnie, up top. He was bloody yeah, good. Strong, mm-hmm. running in behind. And yeah, as, as much as you said, like, uh, AC were bad, but Palmer, like, yeah. They just read the room. They said, they you know what, we're too. going to defend really deep here, you know, but we're going to be really quick going the other way. They were mm. just like they one, were, two touch passing. Yeah, two passes and they yeah. were they were at their goal. And look at it over, <laughs> like, they didn't, they did the good work at the back and they overcomplicated it in front of goal, but in their own half, they weren't overcomplicating it. It yeah, was no. make the available pass and then play and then go and go and go. That's, they can make that home place a bit of a fortress. Yeah, like, like, that's a tough place to go, actually. It's going to yeah. become a tough place to play. And yeah, it's good coaching, man, because like you look at Milan it. and how high they, they play, and it's like, boys, just let's just move it quick, and, yeah. and with the strikers we got, we'll be out and we'll score goals here. And that's what they did, and they should have had more than two. It's, so it's, it's got an interesting look, because they, they could be that sort of mid-table side that just they, wins they home games. They could do that, mon, the, mon, the Monza, Monza. yeah. They, they win, could be your boys. Win home games, make it really un, uncomfortable for teams mm. to come there. Milan lost it at Monza last year. It's the same sort of thing here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and they just travel and pick the odd point up here and there, and then you're safe. Mm. And then, you know, we look like idiots because we yeah, <laughs> get it too yeah. well. <laughs> um, pretty much. But, no, fair play. Who it, would it is you, crisis, though. For who Milan. would you rather coach right now, Palmer? Wow. Oh, Palmer. Milan or Roma? Or who do you feel most confident about getting out of this? I feel like Milan. Yeah. There's some really good players there. Mm. But I think it's a more exciting project at Roma. Yeah. There's some more like the the Balas, the Dovbicks. 
Um, I like their defence. It's a little bit ageing, but I like yeah. a few of their players. Whereas, for Milan, it feels same old, same old. Mm. Like, it, yeah. Even with Milan, I know I was quite positive on their recruiting, which I don't know why, actually. I should, should have given them what you did, which was a <laughs> C. Bro, bro second-guessing yeah, yourself. On, a, on every on single yeah. club, I literally am. But, um, yeah, I think we said last week I was way too nice on them, and I definitely was, because... Like you, you need to go to that next level, especially mm. on Milan, huge club, massive yeah, club, massive. and they're just buying average. Like it's like, just the reality. Like Fafan is a potential, but yeah. I still <sighs> like Emerson won't improve you. No. Morata, I don't think will do better than Giroud. But it's worse than Giroud, probably yeah. worse. Yeah. So you're not buying better; you're just replacing what you had, which still wasn't good enough. Mm. So yeah, it was the third best team that stayed third best. And sometimes yeah, when you stay, yeah. is, and, and that's a big thing in football is if you try and if you stay the same, if you stay stagnant, it, you might as well go backwards. Yeah, well, they probably will yeah, this year because exactly, everyone I mean, else is. I don't think you can ever. I've never seen a team stay stagnant and do well. Mm. Like, I, in the modern to like last 10, 15 years, yeah, it just says a lot about how the game's gone. But sometimes I think you need that fresh competitiveness. But. I'm so your Fafanas, your Emersons, your Maratas, I'm going to Particularly with them last two, Emerson and Maratta. What do you have? I mean, Fafana might add something to that. Yeah, and Fafana, there was a... Because a lot of people said he's he's a... I haven't watched... Look, I have barely watched him, yeah. but he's apparently he's a quality midfielder. There was hype so. around him, but the fact that no one really pursued yeah, it And like 20 though. mil as well. I don't know if that was just because he had a year left on his... Yeah. Like, I don't know how long his contract was at Monaco. But, um, That's a very yeah. much confidence bit, that the big weird, boys went in for him. Oh, uh, yeah, even like Ryan does. He's had a good, he did have a good game. Like Liao, yeah. they've they've got more than enough to be playing so much better than they are. But they're playing this high line, which I think is destroying the midfield, cool. which then puts so much pressure on the attackers. So, and besides Liao, it's just, it's just I just think it's such an average team. Like Okafor, yeah, just, yeah, Okafor. He is what he is, man. He's just yeah. he's gonna miss a few. He'll score a few, but he's a body. Yeah, he's just one of those. It's, Funny old team. It's it's mediocrity. Yeah, it a lot is. of mediocrity yeah. in that team. So we have to come down the left though. Tao and Anders and well, yeah, Liao. that's it. It has to come down. Take well, them out. The oh goal comes God. from that side. It's Tao and Anders. One pass to Liao. One more pass to Pulisic. He just taps it yeah. home. Yeah, a little bit worrying for them. Yeah, fair question though. Um, we'll come now to our next segment, the final of this um, episode. And it's five players to look out for this season. Can be new signs. Can be young guys. Can be the old guys. I have got ten here, but um. Yes, yeah. I initiated 10, but I think with the time ago... Should we now, say who we initially had and then... Well, say one of the two. Let's do like, let's see like yeah, each league's champion and their runner-up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we'll do that. Yeah, I like that. Um, yeah. Kick us off uh, <laughs> with your first league. So my, so I'll start in the Prem. Mm-hmm. Uh, my, well, my first one is I had Matt O'Reilly just moved to Brighton. I watched a couple of Celtic games because, like, my dad loves Celtic for some reason. Like, the, the like the Scottish Cup, yeah. like, finals and semi-finals and even, like, the Celtic Rangers games. So I've yeah. watched a bit of them on the 11 o'clock at Sunday night. They usually are. Um, and this guy is – he's serious. serious. He's a very, very good footballer. He, it, he reminds me of Odegaard a little bit in terms of if he gets the ball outside the box, that thing's gone in the bottom corner. Yeah. Um, got a great left foot on him. He's, he's again, linked to a lot of clubs, Atalanta – I think even last year, I think Brighton were interested in him, but Celtic wanted to keep him. And, yeah. Um, yeah, he's he's a very good player. And they've got like uh, Weefer and Gilmore who can create from deep, but they never had that attack, like that guy a bit further forward who yeah. could create. Yeah, now. But now they've they've got that in Ruta, who I was going to put as well, but yeah. I picked, uh, picked Matt O'Reilly. You got, you got a lot there. Yeah. Um, my premier player was Savinho, Savio, mm. if you want to say it. Um, my runner-up, by the way, was um, Matt Viva. I really like. My runner-up was uh, Morgan Rogers. Like that. Oh, that's fair. That's fair. I probably should have him as my champion. Yeah, so, yeah. he's. Been, <laughs> I've said this off the top of I think he'll probably be the best signing. Yeah, I yeah, thought yeah. Fulkul would be, but he's not even being played. So I think Savio is the best yeah. signing. Um, City needed someone that I kept saying that they need something different. He's going to bring the X factor. I think City might walk the league. Yeah, at this say point, now <laughs> already, I think it's already over. But hey. If you need to add anything to that team, someone that was better than Jack Grealish, and they've got that well and truly with Savio. We saw what he did last season. <coughs> I think I, we said it. I think we said it. Like Dov Bix, like the Harland you know, eBay, yeah, eBay yeah, version. Yeah, sort of version. You've got the real thing. He's going to crossing into him, running at these defenders, yeah. opening up for him because no one really knows him 
this season. He's going to get so many chances. I think he's going to just cook this league. So yeah, yeah. I think he's, he's, for me, is my best player. Um, oh, someone to keep an eye out for this season. But Matt <clears> Beef would be very, very good as well. Yeah. Proper holder. Yeah. Proper. Um, and I said it, I think, on the Monday pod, he might end up becoming the Kaisato Basuma that gets Maybe, in the yeah. and gets sold. Well, when he good. signed, everyone was going ham about him. Like, he's... It's been a fair serious, chunk for him, but he's a yeah. bloody good player. He's serious. And he didn't even play on the weekend. No. I so. think he got taken out last night in the Carabao Cup. There was, there was oh, up really? in arms um, Brighton fan. I need to show if you're looking at that. So I think he, he might be injured. I have to oh, have shit. a look. But yeah, I, I really like him as a player. That'd be very handy. Uh, so I'll go to La Liga. Mm-hmm. I do apologise for this one. So my oh. runner-up was... You'll, you'll know why soon. Okay. So my runner-up was Dan Juma because I think he's kind of that forgotten about sort of... Wow. Forward. Okay, yeah, I like that. It's very but good. my champion is um, Liverpool's first signing, Mamadashvili from uh, Valencia. <laughs> I do apologise, but um, no, nah, it's just more because obviously, I'll like every Liverpool fan will be keeping a mm. a close look on him mm. to see how he does, and um, you know the fact that we've signed him when we've got Allison and Kelleher means we see this guy as yeah, a guy. serious keeper. So, yeah. and he was very, very good at the Euros. <laughs> um, so, yeah. I, I do apologise. I do apologise for that. <laughs> I, just, I had to. I had to. I had to. It's our first signing, man. I like um, the first thing, maybe the other side. <laughs> first and only, yeah. Fingers crossed. Um, I want a little bit more basic with mine. My runner-up was Nico Williams. Yeah. Can he deliver again in what looks like surely the final year before Barca? Surely. I don't know. I don't know how much debt they're in, but it should be the last year before Barca. My play look out for that was Danny Olmo. I think yeah, he will nice. absolutely cook. And I think he got... An assist this morning. No, he scored. He scored this morning scored, yeah. in his first scored. game for the club. So that says a lot about him. Um, you talk about you talk about Leipzig and the play they have and how open they can be. He's going to get so much more opportunity at Barca because yeah. he was basically the man that well went through. He was a cog that made Leipzig turn. He's one of 11 cogs now at Barca. Yeah. He's going to get yeah, more yeah. time, more space in the ball. And that one touch, high pace ball, how quickly the ball moves in La Liga. That we'll see him to a T. And we saw how good he was at the Euros, man. I think yeah, he's just yeah, like yeah. finding... He's, like a, he's, he's fine the prime. He's, he's, he's entered he's, his prime he's, right yeah, now. He looks serious. And what a time yeah. to enter at Barca with all the excitement around this football club right now. So 100%, he's yeah. my exciting player. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Bundesliga, I'll go to. My runner-up was Angelo Stiller from Stuttgart. Yes, Adam. Yeah. Adam is always runner-up. Uh, was he your champion? Uh, no, my champion, my runner-up. Oh, he's my runner-up. Yeah. And my... Champion was Jamie Bino Gittens. Very tough. I like it. I like it a lot. Very <laughs> so good. Uh, from Dortmund. They looked like they found another one. <laughs> Came on against Frankfurt and scored both goals. He looked really exciting. Um, mm-hmm. So, yeah, it looks like they found another one. Um, Didn't get played enough last season, man. Yeah, I know. He looks like he... With all the attackers they've got, I thought, is he going to get the... Op- that's the only problem. Is he going to get the opportunity? Yeah. But after that performance, I think he's... Got it. He should sure, definitely... He's there, locked yeah. in. It's going to be a very exciting team this season. Um, I was the same runner-up, but my, my my champion, and this is my new, my new champion of the season, I've, I've adopted this one as well, Franz Kradzik from oh, Stuttgart. Oh, he loves him. Another fullback oh. from Stuttgart joining the, joining the, um, <laughs> the Mitchell Stat bandwagon. Yeah. Actually played over him on the weekend. Yeah, that's um, That's crazy. a lot. That's really, crazy. really good in the Super Cup. Not as good, got dragged in the weekend, but I'm really excited about this guy. Buying product, talked about him a lot last week, but come to on the ball. A very similar mould to uh, Maximilian Mitchell start in terms of very comfortable going forward. But what I've seen enough, he's quick enough to cover off defence. I think that these days that's the formula: go attack, and if you're good enough to get back, you don't have to be a great one-on-one defender. Yeah. See, with Trent right, does a fantastic job, but as long as you can get back and just close off the space, that does enough. So I think it's been mm-hmm. a big year for him. I'm positive and still, even though it was a dodgy start, lost to Fry, but yeah. I still think they'll be a very competitive team, and I think Kradzig will be a a pivotal part of that, whether it be at left back or do they even try and push him on and be high yeah, on the I think pitch? I have to try. You've got to yeah. play Mitchell Star, surely. Oh, you, well, <laughs> the international player, you'd think he would, surely. but yeah. Unless he gets chucked on the right, I don't know how they're going to work it out. Yeah. But I'd like to see him go a little bit further forward, or Mitchell Star go forward Maybe, yeah. as a, as a winger. you've got to so. get both of them in regardless. Um, so. I think it'd be very exciting this season. So, Grant yeah. for me, my player. Uh, Lee Gern, I've gone, I've gone pretty basic for the last two, actually. So, Lee Gern, uh, my runner up was Mason Greenwood. Same. <laughs> And my and champion was Buck. 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 Oh, yeah, yeah. beautiful. There we go. Too easy. Yeah. We've already spoken of, of him. Yeah, it's, it's probably his year. To it feels like it. Feels like it, doesn't it? Yeah. French guy. Young. Yep. So they can back by 2.8, hasn't it? And then it, at Madrid in three to four years. Yeah, we'll see him there. 
Perez already shook his hand already. But yeah, it's probably already been agreed, so probably. 18-year contract, can't leave the club. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, and there you go, Greenwood, yeah. Same yep. thing there. And final league. Syria. Syria. Again, I went pretty basic. I went with McTominay as my runner-up. There's one to look out for. Oh, I like that. Yeah, McTominay. I think Source. he could. I think he could actually have a really good year. I think, Con- well. I think Conte is the type of manager to just get something out of this guy where he's up there with like kind of not player of the season, like not player of the season, not t- uh, team of the season, but like a little bit the below reserves, that. The reserves, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? I mean um, Harry Winks look good, so yeah. like that yeah, says yeah, a lot. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then my champion, I went with Dovbik because I think Ooh, he's a watch. Topical right I now. I think he's a watch. That's topical. With De, Ro- De Rossi's got to, obviously, as I said earlier, he's got to find a way to get him Locking. involved. <laughs> but one of those where people will say, like, I would never say it, but oh, he's, he's a fraud. Like he's, you know, he's just Savino tax or whatever. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've put him as my champion one to watch. He could flick a switch for them. <laughs> well, if you had to touch the ball, they could actually score yeah. win games of that'd football. Nice so you could just touch it. Yeah, nice. that'd be important. Um, I went different. I thought we would have the same champion, but my run up with David Neres. Yeah, yeah. Can yeah. you see how the the uh, the old Devil's Lettuce Merchant can go? <laughs> 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 he he looks so when he came oh on as well. God. He was they scored the goal and they were hyped up. And they all came to celebrate him when he made that assist. Mm. He was just like standing there, I'm like, oh, this guy just like has zero care. Yeah, in the world. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but he's bloody dangerous and I think we don't get to see many of these sort of wingers in Syria like yeah, just no, a pacey just like bar line type wingers like Chiesa was probably sort of like <clears> that but he's going now so we don't see much of them so um, it's nice to see him play but my champion and the play look out for in the Syria team and Coupe Miners for me I was very close. Here we go I was, to Juventus yeah, yeah, yeah. your guy you, you love guy. this dude Yeah, I would love to see him at, mate you they are so good to that, watch now he, I hope there. he starts. I hope it's Louise Turam and. Um, they, didn't they just sign the Argentinian kid as well? Um, oh yeah, no. What's his name? They did. They did. They did. Um, oh, what's his name? Fabrizio announced the other day, oh, and he's name? bloody good as well. <laughs> yeah, I know. I forgot his name. It's, it's Con. Is it? Let that, me find God no, Con Calves. It starts with a C. I swear, it starts with a C. What's his name? It sounds Conte Sal. Con- is that what I'm thinking of? Yeah. The winger. But Con- they're someone else as well, I'm pretty sure, in midfield. Nico Gonzalez. Oh, him, 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 So yeah, Gonzalez yeah. in the midfield. Conte Sal is joining on the flank. They're getting rid of Kez. They get rid of Chesney. No, uh, I was thinking they're the wrong dude. Are you reading <laughs> Coop Miners? Was that the play we forgot about last week? Maybe it was. We forgot about Coop Miners. Maybe it was. He hadn't confirmed yet. Yeah, hasn't no. been confirmed. Yeah, it was Coop Miners. That was like a, a minute where we were just like... What? I look back at it. I still couldn't find it last night <laughs> in the podcast. The Coop Miners with two round with Douglas Louise. Mate. Do they all start? I imagine they all start against Roma. That's fucking close up shop. <laughs> they scored six in two games and they could have had they eight. They look very good. Even defensively, they look great. So... Grammar back at his best. That's the thing. When you make these tough decisions, which Motta did, like Chesney's now retired. He's gone he's to the Shadow Realm. But he's <laughs> Game's gone. Game's gone for him. Game's he's gone. For gone. Him. Chies is going to be sold to, to my boys, which will be nice. 10 mil. Um, 12 mil. Hopefully. Um, like, it, it just it just puts everyone on edge in a good way. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. In a good way. And they are. They're playing some great football. Vlahovic has looked really good. good goal they've the got these wingers, which you wouldn't have heard of three weeks ago. But and now they're cool, just cooking. cooking. Um, and now they've added to that midfield. You know, it's just... Is that, that midfield is incredible. It's probably the best midfield in Serie A. I think it competes with Inter. Well, I don't know if it beats Inter. I've got to be oh, honest. I don't know. I, I, I think that, that Inter one, you, that, that, that will have to take... Like a team, to, a team to win the league over them for me. Yeah, okay. Because, like, I mean, Champions League, they got, that team got to a final. They won the league last year comfortably. <laughs> Like uh, that, that inter midfield's incredible. It's probably the most balanced inter midfield, but if if you're trying to win a game, I think we need to see, we need to see it. We need to see it. Hold your horses. I'm, I'm, being, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm being bold earlier. I'm very reaction today. Coop Miners, best it is incredible. Best central attacking midfield in the league. I've said it. There you go. I've said it. Yeah, he probably is. Yeah, you've got Douglas Luiz, who was probably the best box to box player in the Premier League last season. Or around there, yeah. Next, we, to, probably but just behind McAllister. Rice, McAllister. Uh, probably behind McAllister. Are we counting Rice as a box to box? Because that's I can't even. He made most of the years a six yeah. last season. Still a six. And yeah. then you've got Taram, who again we haven't seen anything. Of the, he's nineteen. He's not in the best team yet. But so, he's a talent. But he, he's something <laughs> much better on the weekend. By the way, versus first much week, I was a bit harsh on the first week. Much better on the weekend. You've got Vlahovic is the probably the 
if not the best finisher in the league, behind oh, Martinez. Behind Martinez, yeah. like damn, you could compete. You've got yeah, probably the second or third best centre back in Bremer. Bremer, probably one of the most consistent. I yeah. think I'd see one of his best traits, and the defence was much better now as well. Yeah, which balanced they just again. Look bad. Just again, I said it last week. You put my quote up on. Uh, yeah, whack it up. Um, Cold quotes. It, it, it <laughs> just they just look. There's the whole feel around the club is a complete Positive. overhaul. Complete overhaul. So Good vibe. that that the game against Roma, they're gonna they're gonna get a huge crowd. It's gonna they're pack they're that gonna place, yeah. they're gonna be mental. So. Allianz gone and crazy. I can only see a Juve comfortable win to be honest. Coming in a three goal win. Could be yeah. They could slap Give another clean again. sheet. Yeah. Three, four, yeah. Um I'll run through my five my, my five champions. So Savio, Olmo, Barkala, Kratzik, and Tuna and Coop Miners for my five. So I had Matt O'Reilly. Should have had Morgan Rogers. I should have had Morgan. Ah, yeah, should I had Matt O'Reilly, Mamadashvili, yes. uh, Jamie Bayern Gittens, Bradley Barcola, and Dov Pick. There you go. There you go. Keep an eye out for them. They're all going to come true because we know ball, so it's all good. <laughs> Hopefully. And, and they all win the pervy in every single league. <laughs> uh, I should have I gone Morgan Rogers. What am I doing, man? What am I doing? He's got his, he's got his uh, hipster hat on there. <laughs> <laughs> I literally do, yeah. Um, so the Bundesliga, quickly. Um, Bayern scraped part Wolfsburg, the most unconvincing win from the weekend in many regards. Yep. Um, ugly, shit, average. <laughs> My quote about uh, a company being sacked might have to come because this was far from. It was dodgy, wasn't it? It was far very unconvincing. Dodgy. For, and, for, uh, for Harry Kane, like some yeah. the assist for that goal, turning uh, away from the defender, taking yeah. that ball in. Even though the equaliser, he. Got that, got his header onto it, and then yeah, and it felt that way. Like yeah. he's, he's carrying that team. I think Lisa looked good in his opening game, but again, Jamal Musiala scores. Harry Kane's doing a lot of the work. Yeah, it's, it's not feel like it's, and Kim, my God, where's I was just where's a, I was just going? about to, to say about him. I think, <laughs> but did you have him on Ford Watch last week? Do we have him? I think we did. I had him. I know I had him. I think he's, you had him he's as well. Absolutely on. I there think now, we both though. had him. He is Ford probably Watch. the most on watch. He he should have been here. He's on the list. <laughs> he should have been sitting here. Um, he was just... What has happened to him? Is, is this what just the case of a one-season wonder? Is this like a Mishu what? at Swansea? Is, is this... Is this literally... It's a straight to forget. Is, Kim this just a, is, is this just a straight to forget Napoli, <laughs> Kim and Jay? Because I don't recognise this guy. I was going to say, if De La Renta the same week... Like last week, had this week, I'd be like, okay, maybe they've all just fallen off. Yeah. But Di Lorenzo bounced back, Kravatskelia bounced back. Yeah. You know, Osman's good in his days. It's not like they've all gone to shit. They've all been he's average, got, but he's been. What? What's, what's that? This, this ain't even just a confidence thing, I don't think. No. This, this is just a player that I generally, at the moment, I know this is very reactionary because it's literally their first game of the season, mm. but it just looks like a one season wonder at the minute. Yeah. He's just not a good centre-back. It's, it's, <laughs> it's mental to say. That Eric Dyer <laughs> probably has more of a, a reason to start over him. Yeah, and th- all the comments on like when they posted the score, all the comments like that Upperman Kana Kim and Jay is going to, that's going to have Bayern Munich fans in <laughs> just... Oh, They'll be dead before the season shocking. finishes. <laughs> yeah, they... That's heart attack century. First half, Wolfsburg did nothing. No, nah, but, it was just but no bit, one did anything. It was a bit of a nothing first nothing half, wasn't it? Both teams just feeling each other out. And then Wolfsburg came out second half and, and second looked, half. looked really good. I was like, yes, my surprise team, all right. They're going to go a big scalp here. Deliver. And then, um, yeah, once that second goal went in, Bayern stepped it up as they should. The big big boy stepped up. Kane. Uh, Muller was was good off the bench, I thought, as well. I know yeah. I've been kind of... Give him a spark. Yeah. I know I've been kind of saying that they should move on from those kind of guys, but he was still very good. Mm. Um and yeah, it's, I mean, I guess it's a win. You know, it's, it's good for company. Yeah, but um, it wasn't. Well, it was yeah, wasn't anything incredible. I'd say. Yeah, it's, yeah. The fact it wasn't the most impressive team from uh, from the Bundesliga. No, say, from match week one. No, far from it. I think Dortmund, Leverkusen. <clears throat> yeah, probably the two teams look better at the moment. At the moment, I think Leipzig had the possibility, but those two probably look better. It's just eighty second minute and Nabry saving you. Yeah. Don't like I it. mean, you you have your, your doubts. About, I don't like about this team. I don't like these wingers. I don't like the manager, as people and as players. <laughs> 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 and it's yeah, because I should have been. We've sort of been in separate sides. I'm such a pro Muller person. But I'm so against having Nabry and Sun. I think they should all go. 
Whereas you're sort of fine with those being the same, but you want Muller gone. But it just was like you need the whole thing gone. I, I just think all of them. Should, I yeah. think it needs a full clear a full out. Clear like out. Muller and like. It feels like Kim has to go. Lima well. and yeah. Kim. Like Palini was on the bench. Pavlich played very well, by the way. Pavlich well. played well. He, but again, he's the new, yeah. the, a new Next kind gen. of player. Matisse Tell on the bench for me. That's, I will. That's a I've said this from the. How many First, months? How, how many, many months? months? <laughs> Why? How is this guy not playing? I do, he's so the same story. good. He's so good. That's why I'd love to be like a, a fly on the wall at training and stuff because you know we're harsh with Tom. He's been good at the club, but people that continue to pick him, why? I don't know. Mm. Why does two managers now don't pick Tell? Like, there must be something. Imagine him, him and Elise on. on either wing. Good and luck. He was and then Musiala in behind them. Off the bench, he was incredible. Last but he year. does it every week. I know. I I don't know. He come I off the bench and we'll give a spark. There's got to be something we we don't we don't know. At, what did he say about Man City? What did he what did he say? Yeah. What did he say about Man City? Yeah. yeah. Like it's he was he's probably the one that brought the charges up. I reckon. You know. He put up in court. <laughs> it's, yeah. yeah it's, it's I, I, I won't stop on this. I'll die on this hill. I, that I he know, needs I'll, to be I'll be on there with you. I'll hold the flag <laughs> up on the hill. It's it's <laughs> very strange. I, yeah. Here's the thing with me: when new managers come in. That's what's even more strange. Yeah. How can you not like this kid? Like, he's superb. And he's a yeah. kid. He's got so much potential to improve. Yeah. And you're Especially with, with company at Burnley. He gave all the kids a, I love a chance. Yeah, that's so a bit suspect. That's, yeah, yeah. That's, that <laughs> was crazy. But, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, uh, but yeah, I mean, yeah, like you got the win in the end. That's all that matters. So. G celebration. But, but, crazy but, celebration. Yeah, but if that's a sign of things to come, then... I don't think too much will change from last year, to be honest. Dortmund ahead of them. Shit. Ahead of second. <laughs> My predictions so far look, honestly, shocking. Well, we'll Serie A, absolutely we're shocking. But, but all three teams <laughs> that we had going down, all even gonna even the La Liga though, your surprise team is cooking. Yes, we're we're getting them a little bit. Yes, get to them. And my severe, oh my days, oh my god, they are fucking horrendous. Stop, stop. <laughs> they are horrendous. I've heard how much we'll, we'll rush over these next oh, three man. key. Te- I just want to talk about one of them already, but I want to quickly talk about Leverkusen, late winner. They were fantastic in the first half, unstoppable. Mm. Actually, for the first forty-two minutes, yeah. in the last sort of stoppage time, they were they should have had a goal. Yeah, what? Glad back in it. Dodge. I can see why they've given it a foul, it, but Hincarpe yeah. has made the most of that. He can oh, easily clear that. Oh, big bro, bro was practically crying when that ball went in. <laughs> like, that was, he made a meal of that. So that's the first one that went their way. I then don't know. They come out second half. Fantastic second half from Glad back. Started on fire. Yeah. Um, eventually got the equaliser in the 85th minute. Tim Klons, oh, Klons the, the, the former Heidenheim guy. Sad he's left um, hard none, but he's there to score the, the equaliser for Gladbach. Grimaldo then was very good in tight areas, nearly produced a key goal in the first minute of sub sub. You said it, he missed it though. You thought, okay, yeah. they've not done this. I haven't done then it. cue the chaos. Um, cue the first game of the Bundesliga drama. <laughs> first game of the season. This is the first game. But also, I've got Granite Jack's goal. <laughs> yeah, I know. I thought you were just going to skip over that. I was like, bro. Oh, this guy. I was watching that in my room and I woke my bloody family. Like I just screamed. I was like, what Incredible. the hell? I think now it's the last eight goals he scored has all been outside the box. Yeah. He only sc- he's like, scores. This, this is Philippe Coutinho at Liverpool oh. vibes. Only scores bangers, doesn't score inside the box. Like, Ridiculous. That strike is, that is a serious goal, man. And I don't know, the Bundesliga cameras feel a little bit further away because the stands a little bit bigger. Yeah. I but think because so. it's so zoomed out. The way that ball just it like just arrowed in, I, like, wow. I think the keeper got a touch to it, but that thing was hit oh, too powerfully. Venom. Dude, and broke yeah. your finger if you got any more. So I mean, that would that that was literally the only way Leverkusen could start the season off with an yeah. absolute banger yeah. of a goal. Like it was, and Virtus in the score sheet following that, and then right at the end, again the penalty. I'm not like it's. I don't know. I wish we saw an angle to see where if the defender actually got the ball first. I don't yeah. Know, because we only saw the one angle. The one side they showed you, yeah. So I wish we like, saw the other ones. Considering the first half's goal got overruled, mm. it's the same level of contact. It is, yeah. But the fact that they're both going Leverkusen's way I feels know. a bit like shit. Like if <laughs> they go both Gladbach's way, they, they win the game. Yeah. Probably. Exactly, oh, yeah. To be fair, Leverkusen probably score an equal. Another, so. another but, but the fact that but it's like they get something in the from eighth it. minute of the eight minute stoppage time. Yeah. Then it's the VR stuff. So it's the 10th minute of stoppage time. Yeah. Upsets Florian Verts. Mid penalty. Like yeah. saveable height. Good save. But good then. save. But saveable height. Not really in the corner. 
good, yeah. good, yeah, good reaction from the keeper. Then the ball just somehow falls back, falls back to him. And they score in the eleventh minute of eight minutes of stoppage. Maybe they put something inside the ball. They know, like make it go, just make it go in in the ninth the, minute. It's it's ridiculous. Yeah, they just. I mean, it's not surprising, but at the same time, it is because they. Like, how it's, do they do it? Surprising <laughs> how it keeps. It's going surprising out. how, but it's not yeah. surprising that. They no. do it. <laughs> That's why Schick did score. That's, I think it was yeah. Where was yeah. Schick? Yeah. Where was he? He's on four watch. <laughs> <laughs> Where's your 93rd Where, goal? Yeah. Like, oh, man, going, buddy. Um, but I want to say, though, Florian Verts, fantastic start of the season. He started off where he Two where he goals. Um, a really important goal, the second goal, because they, they should have been a fair few up. They yeah. don't have the first 40 minutes. I don't think um, Gladbach got into the Leverkusen half no, they didn't. in the first 30. The second, well, the end of the first half is where... The last sort of... Five and then plus stoppage time, they were very good. Yep. But almost like Leverkusen was just waiting for half time. Um, but like getting to watch a full 90, having like bought all the packages now and actually get to watch the games, it, it was good to see how Leverkusen build into yeah. games. This Because I watched all the end of the season games last year and they were sort of established. I thought, how will they start the season off? How will, yeah. they, how will they get grip to grips with it? It was instantly for minute one, just add it. Yeah. Frimpong's on the bar line. It is Verts operating in the half spaces. It's uh, a willingness for Grimaldi to keep putting balls in the box. Yep. And it, and Jack and Andridge. Oh, I'll, I'll keep talking about this Incredible. in punch-up until they eventually break it up. Because this is... How no one put in a bid... I, I like, agree. How no yeah. one put in a bid for Andridge yeah. is beyond me. Yeah. yeah. He, the, probably the it's only one you can get away from thing, the club. It's an age thing, isn't it? Yeah. I think he's like, what, 29? 28, I think. You but still. Be, I mean, if, you, if he landed at Brighton... <gasps> him... Or oh, him and Weaver. Yeah. Like, oh my god. Talk about the best double pivot. Oh, like, oh, <laughs> even Dorman. Like Dorman went after Pascal Gross, who I love, but he's thirty three. Mm. Why not get the younger version who yeah, started over that's, him that's in that's the Euros? In that's a good point. I just think there was a big opportunity to miss there because I think it was a thirty forty million max signing. Mm. He was probably the cheapest and most available at anyone there. Yeah. Yet no one went for him, and it wasn't his. By far his best game ever for Leverkusen, but him and Jack in midfield, just you just feel warm and fuzzy watching it. You feel comfortable. Are, yeah. It's just it's a safety. There's thing. no yeah, there's no like danger with them. It's you know they're gonna do a job and their best performance are performances are like nine, ten out of tens. Yeah, their worst performances are still sevens. Yeah, like on the weekend, maybe if, six. If, if Jack doesn't score that goal, you don't get talked about much. But if you look at their performance as a whole, that's a mm. in terms of their role in midfield, nine out of ten. Yeah. What their, their importance are to this team, they smashed it at the park. Yeah. Yeah. But no one will talk about it because it's, yeah, no. it's not Verts so or it's not a 99th minute winner. Yeah, no. But gee, they're so important for this team. So I had to touch on that as well. And they've they've had a brilliant window as well. Bringing in reinforcements. They lost... Um, uh, Kosinu. Kosinu. But, but they, they brought in... Um, from PSG. Um, Mukiele. Mukiele. Yes. Which I don't mind it because if Frimpong ends up going, yeah. is that not just... The same thing, <laughs> and but I mean, no one's interested in that, or no one can get their players. So yeah, I don't know this is the squad with. they're rolling with, yeah. and it's the bloody good ones. So. And Garcia comes off the bench to great yeah. effect again. Yeah, so. they're set. Uh, <clears throat> they could run away with this. So they finally get, if I get their shit together, I said it. If I get their shit together, it could be over by match week four or five. It's really, <laughs> if I lose a game or two between now and match week five, you never know. Dortmund or, or Dort- Leipzig might uh, might I hope surprise. Leipzig up there, yeah, yeah, I hope they are. I had, them, um, I had them high. Yeah, we all had them very high, to be honest. Um, quickly, the end here of the league. Not much happened in the weekend. The big one was Villarreal had their hot start of the season. They're now... Because well, Barnes won last night. So they'll be second. They're second. But they were called top as they made this, <laughs> these yeah. lists up. Um, so you give out rebound late goals. Danny Perro did his own in the 10th minute of stoppage time. Um, mm-hmm. This game was chaotic. They beat um, Celta. Yeah, crazy, man. 4-3. Oh, my God. What a game. That um, was a crazy game. Well, this is a great game of football on the weekend. Um, yeah, but the big talking point was uh, late penalty. Uh, Danny Pereira, the, the spiritual leader of the football club, the, uh, the banker walkout, the, yeah, the fighter the, from the FIFA. Always 40 yeah. pace merchant, yeah. <laughs> Smacked his penalty. Again, very similar to Verts, same sort of spot. Mm. Got the rebound, tapped it home. Big win for them. They're now yeah. two wins and a draw. Celta go to two wins and one loss. Good start Still for them. Considering good, how yeah. poor they were last season. Yep. Barca, the other story... Impressive win versus Athletic Club. I mean, you are a fantastic goal. They beat... Who did they play last? I, I literally have not seen who they played last night. Um, oh, so they versed uh, Rayo Vallecano. Bitten 2-1. Bitten 2-1 again. Fantastic for them. 2-2-1 wins. They go now top, unbeaten mm, in the league. Look good. And look bloody good doing it. So, uh, for me, versus Villarreal, very impressive. Life after Saul Loth is still all good. Yeah, I know. 
You mentioned Dan Jume has been very good for them. They just look stable. Yeah. Looks like nothing much has really changed. Like classic old. They're, they're they very. They're a very underrated club. They just are. Get they shit just done. always. <laughs> they always finish. You know, sixth, seventh, eighth, mm. and just it's always the odd Champions League semi final. You know, quarter final, Europa League final. Win it under Emery. It's yeah. They're they're a very good club and a great pick. For a surprise team. Like I, I, I look at this line. I mean, I, I, I'm not going to lie to myself. Like Albiol and Baye, I know. Um, Conde, I know now. Parejo in midfield, I know. Alex Benya, I know. But like the rest of them, I don't, I don't know what who these yeah. guys are. Like, they still just, got, you know, Camboala on the bench. Camboala so. on the bench. Um, uh, they got Gay, Pepe, Ayose Perez Pepe, on the bench. Yeah, Ayose Perez. Um, some good, good players. They're just, they're just a solid squad. Yeah. But again, after the players they lost, you wouldn't think they'd go yeah, no. where they're going. Lose your keeper, lose your yeah, yeah, centre forward. All, All good. good. Happy days. All good. Happy days for Villarreal. Yep. Uh, and for Barca. We've sort of said it already, but it's been very impressive. Very impressive, yeah. I mean, this is the Hansi Flick effect, I feel like. This is Hansi Flick. Yeah. This is Hansi Flick. He's, um, yeah. He's he's doing what Hansi Flick did at Bayern. You know, yeah. he's just, just win winning and playing good football. And it's mm. not their absolute peak yet, as they, they shouldn't be. If they were, it'd be a joke. Cause <laughs> Uh, it's Hansi Flicks. It's a tough style to play. It's high pressing. It's very. You have to be fully demanding. bought in and committed, and yeah. it's, it's a very demanding system. So, but you know, again, they got all these young players. They 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 got legs for days if they don't get injured. Yeah, if they can just manage them, they'll 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 be up there with Madrid, one hundred percent. I think we're much know. closer than what you originally thought. Yeah, I think so as well. And I saw a, a quote from um. I'm assuming Hansi Flicks, like one of his physios, have come across and said something. Um, I train my players to be like horses, so they run all day. And I'm I thinking, like, holy shit! Holy okay. shit! So yeah. This might be Seriously, the answer to the the bar scene <laughs> crisis. <laughs> Pedri looked good. He scored uh, last night, so good to see him and back. And seeing him come off the bench slowly, slowly, you see, yeah. you see the talent. They're missing exactly. so much talent. This exactly. Time. Araujo, Gavi, Gavi. Oh my God, for me, still getting back to fitness. They just had some. We were, spe- we were speaking about that, but they had a. Seventeen year old that did his ACL, yeah, but was, even him, he's he was starting. How's it looked, apparently, Hansi Flick was crying when it. Happened. Oh really? Yeah, I saw some um, Instagram thing. Like he obviously loves developing yeah. these players. They're not, like at Bayern wasn't as obvious, but you still saw some few names come through. It was hard to get that, that talent team. through, wasn't it? Because that team was. <laughs> but with Barca and La and all the young players they've got, yeah. like they've just got players deluxe. They've played yeah. for days. They do. They continue to pump. Talent yep. out the door. Um, yep. Another another impressive win to beat Athletic uh, Club as well at home. Yeah, um, Athletic Club, yeah, bit bit disappointing so far. Dodgy start, but I think they'll get to grips once they sort of yeah go into the season. They've never been a club that started well. Yeah, like, no, they actually they haven't, always no. end up coming into the league and coming into that because I'm pretty sure last year they came up into yeah last year they the they caught squad. Atletico big time yeah because yeah. they came from nowhere and like oh will they get yeah. there or not? and then Nico popped off and like well we got to yeah. Exactly. Pay attention, pay attention now. So. so I feel like they'll get there. Yeah, um, they will. I mean, they I got, love, love Sanchez as well. So. The cap, the cap, yeah. captain, right? Was he? Yeah, I think so. Or was no? Or was, was Simon? Um, or no, Simon the captain. Yes, yeah, he might be the captain. But Sanchez, I really like as a player. He got a good goal yeah. at Barca as well. Um, he's a real danger player as well. But yeah. all in vain because Barca got up once again. Yep. And there you go. That is just the week from football Those against all, against all odds. We might against all odds. Against all odds. The power out. They didn't want us to do it. If only we caught that on camera. Oh I still God, wish I had a camera. That would have been. I was swearing. I was Top 10 aggro. players in moments. That we're trying been. to record it via the cameras. It sounded like dog shit. We had to you know the lights. We had the bloody glare coming in. And I just flicked the light. <laughs> we just, we just, what has happened? So it must be a great episode. It must, it must be, be then 10,000 views. This is the K. This, yeah. is the, you know. this is where we get a million subscribers in one episode. Because... <laughs> <laughs> they love the content. They love Morgan Rogers as a, as a reserve <laughs> pick. Love the ballsy calls. Um, thank you for jumping on, mate. All good. I'll announce it here. It's going to happen, no matter if it's three of us or four of us on the couch. We are doing the live stream, United Liverpool, Sunday evening here in Australia, 11. we 10.50 start here, p.m. in Australia. It'll be over there in the UK, 3.50 p.m. Um, so please join us, or even if you're at other parts of Europe, join us in for that one. It's going to be mammoth. It'll be me, oh, man. Antonio, yourself, and a mystery Liverpool guest. We haven't quite sorted that yet. <laughs> but it'll be two Liverpool, two United fans on the couch. Yeah. The Bald Classico. 
Arnie Slot, Eric Ten Hag. Everything. Oh, man, I am already shitting myself. It's a lot of stake. I am so nervous. A lot at stake. But it's Wednesday and I'm so scared. <laughs> it's a lot of days between now and then, but boy, it's going to be a few sleepless nights coming oh, up. Sa- Saturday, a lot of, a lot of you know, drinks will be... Will it's be. the car the nurse. <laughs> to learn the nurse. Saturday, Sunday, oh. I might be I might be hammered when I get here, so still it's too drunk. nervous. Yeah. Still drinking from the day before. Still drinking from the day before. Well, so there we go. I'm, I'm very excited for that. I'm yeah. sorry I missed last week. I had a lot of stuff going on, but as I said, this year we're trying to get a live stream every week. Some weeks will be the four of us, three of us, two. Some weeks will just be me, but there will definitely be live streams to come yep. um, as the season goes on. Thank you for joining me, mate. All good. Another great All week. Good. More lists, more excitement to come next week. Uh, make sure tonight is the Premier League prediction video. We can warm up comes out on Friday. Um, hope you're enjoying the other videos throughout the week. Some more reaction videos will come as my schedule becomes more um, stabilised. So keep an eye on that on the weekends as well. But that being said, guys, thank you for joining us. Five stars on Spotify, five stars on Apple Podcasts. Like, comment, subscribe on YouTube. And we'll see you guys same time next week on Thursday morning. Take some, guys. See you later.